I never knew that I would have to be a mind reader when dealing with clients until I had clients that I had to deal with. I officially don't even know where to start. I got a client that came as a referral and this one's been a doozy. I wish I would have started this process with recording while I was doing it. I've got to get back into the swing of recording myself. So let me catch up to speed before I show you where we are. Got a client that they don't know how to do their artwork in applications like Illustrator because they don't have access to Illustrator, which means they don't understand what DPIs are and so on and so forth. So most cases, a client sends something and it is in the smallest resolution period. Like when you go to put it in 300 DPI, it just looks a mess. So I try not to do any recreation of my client's work. I try to have them do everything so I don't have to spend my time recreating. I don't outsource at this moment for someone to redo artwork. So when I contact a lot of my clients, it's, hey, can you bump up the resolution and ignore this? I'm getting this job ready so that we can get to the print work as well. But I'll ask my clients like, hey, can you bump up the resolution? Can you at least put it in 300 DPI? And it's like, well, what is that? Oh, okay. Um, you gotta explain what, what the dots per inch mean and their art files not being at a resolution that's great for screen printing. Then you've got the whole Pantone colors. A lot of clients will say, we'll make it as close to the color as possible. They don't really have an exact Pantone. This is a case where I'm not getting that. This is a client where they just said, we'll make it a charcoal color. They sent artwork and the artwork didn't have a, a specific color, but they wanted a gray-ish color is what they were saying, like a charcoal. So, you know, I can mix colors. I made a charcoal and it came back, well, that's not the right shade of charcoal I want. I want darker, okay. So I went a little darker and that still wasn't the right shade. So I was like, hey, um, do you have a Pantone in mind that you wanna use for your shade of gray? And the client's like, well, I don't know anything about a Pantone, what's a Pantone? <laughs> this is where mind reading comes in because now I have to read your mind and figure out what is the exact shade of color that you want that you didn't put in your artwork? So after a few trial and errors on mixing colors, I finally got this gray that they wanted. It's not charcoal at all. It's like a hair under black, honestly. So mix that off camera, have the conversations off camera, but I think what I'm gonna do is maybe share the comment or the conversation back and forth, hiding my client's information, of course. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get back to warming these pallets up. I'll be back. See, when I say just a hair above black, I mean, I mean that's about Venom symbiote suit color. Like it's, it's barely gray in my opinion. The lighting in here makes, I mean, it's give, giving it some gray-ish look, but it's pretty darn black. Go ahead and add this to, add this to the screen and I'm gonna run a test print. I ran one, but I'm gonna run another one. And then uh, I'll get to doing these hoodies. This job is a back and a front. I'm not going for perfection on the line. I don't know if that shows. I just want to see where my artwork starts. 
That's what I'm using the laser for. That's about where the client wants it. That's what we're looking at. Now, this was the only one that they sent in this color. The rest will be going on black. I'm a little leery to see how this is gonna work on this because whatever, this is what the client asked me for. I don't know, I don't know. Throw this one in the dryer. Can that even be seen? Oh, you can't see it. What was the point of me having that conversation? Let me move this. Yep, there we go. You can see the client's artwork. That's looking pretty black. We're gonna see how this looks on a black because the rest of these hoodies are black. Black on almost black didn't look bad. Okay. So the client knew what he was talking about. All right. Now I can speed this up. As you can see, I'm not in my print area. Um, so this happened. I'm only smiling because I have, over the course of the time that I've been printing, reading all the stories, hearing all the stories of people who forget that their flash dryer is on and they almost set their shops on fire and they catch it just in time. And I've always said to myself, I'm gonna be three times as cautious. I'm gonna make sure that that doesn't happen to me because everybody says it happened to them. Today was my day and um, Luckily, none of the client's products were on the thing. I was warming everything up and got distracted having a conversation with my wife. And the next thing you know, big fire. So, I can fix this. This, um, this platen just has the rubber burned. I, I'm gonna have to remove the rubber and order a piece of rubber. But this is why I went with aluminum and not wood, because that fire that was down there, if that was wood, this would be no good. I didn't mean to wrong, but yeah, so there's that. And I don't know how difficult this is. I watched one video from Cam Brent Life. He looked like he, sh he got it off pretty easy, but his was not burned to this. This is a, uh, this is pretty crispy. So, I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna try to finish the... Okay, I am got distracted. 
I'm going to pull the rubber off of this. I'm gonna order a new piece of rubber for my platen, and I'm gonna try to finish the backs of those hoodies anyway. I'll just be down to three platens versus four. I can still do the job. The backs are single color, so it's not a big deal. When I get to the fronts, uh, because it's a two color job, I'll just be taking my sweet old time. got this completely cleaned off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this rubber. Rubber came from Action Engineering. It's my first time ordering from them. Uh, got here pretty fast. I ordered this Wednesday morning. It is now Thursday. And uh, that was good timing for me because now I can get to this job. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this and I hope that this is just as easy to put on as I think. I think a couple of double-sided tape. Cleaning this off was not fun. Um, ended up having to use acetone and Goo Gone just to get all of the residue off because it needed to be completely clean before I could put this on. Anywho, opening this now and uh, wish me luck. So it does have double sided tape. I just gotta cut around the edges once I get it on here.
got everything lined up. Before I get started, I did want to talk about these. Um, I noticed that a lot of times that I would um, spend a lot of time registering. And part of the problem is when metal and metal was clinking the way that I had it, or I was putting it too tight, I would lose my registration. So I just took these little, I don't know exactly what these are. I know it's something for the kitchen and I cut them small size and keeps my registration. So just a small tip, might wanna use that if ever you have that problem. I learned it on Facebook. Anywho, everything's lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up these platins and I'm gonna get to work.